hi if you're considering buying the asus zenbook 14 in 2025 pause right now and hear this out because while it looks like the perfect ultra book on paper you need to know exactly what you're getting and what you're not starting at 1 lakh in the india this machine clearly isn't aiming for the budget crowd it's a premium thin and light laptop so let's peel back every layer first up the design asus continues its tradition of a clean and elegant sandbook aesthetic aluminum chasing brushed metal finish and a super slim profile that slides easily into any backpack it weighs around 1.2 kilograms ib and is just 14.9 mm thick making it perfect for travelers students and anyone who hates bulk but let's not pretend it's flawless the build is premium at this price that slight flex feels perfect for users and editors the hinge is also well balanced one finger lift is smooth and the overall gc stays cool and comfortable even with extended use on the lap now to the display this is where the asus hits it out of the park we are looking at a 14 inches 3k oled panel running at 120 hertz with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio this screen is breathtaking the contrast the color vibrance the blacks it's cinema level whether you are watching netflix editing photos or just doom scrolling in a dim room it looks stunning and that 120 hertz refresh rate isn't just for gamers it makes basic stuff like scrolling through web pages and switching tabs feel snappier and more premium but let me be brutally honest if you're doing color accurate work the oled might need a bit of tweaking it's saturated out of the box which makes everything pop but isn't always true to life if you are a photographer or a video editor calibrating the display is must still this screen is arguably the best you'll get at this very price tag now let's talk about performance because that's where most people either fall in love or feel let down The ZenBook 14, 2025 runs on Intel's new core Ultra 5 to 25H Intel Core Ultra 7 to 25H Intel Core Ultra 9N 285H processor, part of Intel's Meteor Lake lineup. This is not just another 14-core chip; it's built with a new hybrid architecture that includes performance cores, efficiency cores, and neural processing units for AI tasks. It's designed to be smarter with power, faster, and multitasking, and more efficient with AI-enhanced software like Photoshop and DaVinci Resolve. You've got a machine that handles daily workflows like a beast. Browsing with 20 Chrome tabs, running Zoom, working on Lightroom, and even rendering 1080p videos simultaneously without breaking a sweat. But if you're thinking of doing sweat, But if you're thinking of doing 4K video editing or playing demanding games, pair that with Intel Arc integrated graphics and this is where it'll show its limits. The R graphics are better than old Intel UHD graphics, but they are still no match for even an entry level Nvidia RTX 3050 or Apple's M3 GPU. So, yes, it's fast and efficient, but it's still an ultra book, not a creator or gaming machine. Thermals are surprisingly well handled. Asus uses a dual fan system with heat pipes that spread out heat from the CPU and GPU across the chassis, keeping surface temps manageable even under load. Kick in when you are doing heavier tasks, but they're not annoying. And most importantly, there's no aggressive thermal throttling. The performance stays consistent even in longer editing sessions. Now, battery life. This part's solid. but not magical the zenbook 14 has a 75 wh battery which on paper sounds big and in real world usage it mostly delivers you squeeze out 9 to 12 hours on a light productivity workflow think google docs email music in the background and screen brightness at around 50% but start doing more intense stuff video editing zoom calls at high brightness or watching hdr contents and expect 10 to 12 hour stops not bad at all for 3k oled panel running at 120 hertz 
But if you're looking for all-day battery, like the MacBook Air M4 delivers with 18 plus hours, you're not getting that there. Now, let's talk about the where does that leave the Asus ZenBook 14? 2025 in a very strong spot? It's not the best laptop in every single category, but it's easily the most balanced ultrabook of the year in this price range. You get a stunning OLED display, solid battery life, excellent port selection, premium looks, and future-ready performance. It's not for hardcore gamers. It's not for pro editors doing 6K video every day. But for students, creators, digital nomads, and working professionals, it checks nearly every box. And one last note, this model, especially the OLED variant with a Core Ultra 5, Core Ultra 7, Core Ultra 9, sells out fast on Amazon and Flipkart Best Buy. If you're thinking about buying, check the link in the description to see if it's still in stock. Thanks for watching this video. I hope if like this video, please subscribe this channel for more videos.